Hi, I'm Cole Townsend with Fast Company. We're here with Quad Magazine today to service the flex handlebar system. It's imperative to maintain the pivot points of your flex handlebar system to ensure proper performance. Today we're going to maintenance Quad Magazine's mud machine. Step one is removing the flex handlebar system's pad and then removing the elastomer nut. There's not a lot of cable issues here and interference, so it looks like we can service this bar on the machine. Next, we're going to remove the C-clips from the pivot pins. Um, we always recommend wearing safety glasses at this point because the C-clips really fly off. Never uh, reuse the C-clips. After you have removed the C-clips, remove the crossbar. So we're ready to remove the pin. Something everybody has around right now is, is your bolts out of the handlebars. We suggest changing the bolts right now. Um, you take your old bolt and you can put it inside the pivot pin and you can strike this or press on this and that protects the pivot pin and, but it does make this bolt junk. Do not put this bolt back in your flex handlebar system. Mushrooming this pin will not allow it to go through the hole and if it does go through the hole it's going to damage our home surface. We use a brass punch to remove the pivot pin. Make sure the diameter is the same diameter as the pivot pin to remove it. Tap the pins forward slightly to more easily remove the C-clips on the front. Now we can remove the front crossbar and start to remove the pivot pins. This pivot pin's in pretty good shape. It's still got quite a bit of grease on it and is, is well lubricated. If, if you're not doing maintenance enough, you'll see some dry spots and the pin can be very hard to remove. As we mentioned before, it's imperative not to mix the pins up right and left. So we're gonna service the left side first and then take the right side apart and finish servicing that. First, clean the pivot holes. It's a good idea to spray a a degreaser or a carb cleaner. We assemble all our handlebars with Torco's multi-purpose waterproof grease. We use a little applicator like this. Apply a slight amount of grease and it's very important to be sure you get grease all the way around the whole pivot point. Once you apply the grease, you can also wipe down the edges so the grease isn't spreading out all over the bike. This is our Flex Handlebar System Rebuild Kit. It comes with all the clips and O-rings you need to properly maintenance the Flex Handlebar pivot points. Next we need to re-O-ring the pivot pin. The O-rings seal the pivot point so no, no water debris can, can penetrate it. Now the pin's ready to go. When reinstalling the pivot pin, be sure the, the threaded end goes in first. When installing the pivot pin in, back into the bar, grip it like a pencil to be sure the pin is square in the hole, not sagging down, up, right, left. When it's at an angle, you can shave some of the aluminum off, damaging the home surface. When reinstalling the pivot pin, it's very important not to strike the pin directly. We're using an old bolt to protect it right now. Line up the handle in the whole pivot area. You've got to be sure that it's flush right here.
This is a very well maintained flex handlebar. Tapping the pivot pin through just farther than the width of the crossbar makes it a lot easier to put the C-clips on. At this point, the left side is done. All you need to do is wipe up the excess grease and move on to the right side. In your rebuild kit, you're provided with two extra O-rings. The O-rings are to go on the outside of your pivot pin and they take up any tolerance in the clip and crossbar area. Once you have the crossbar on the front installed, now is the time to go ahead and put the two front clips on. Now we're putting our C-clips on with our safety glasses on. Once you have the C-clips on, tap the pins back flush with the crossbar. Now we're going to install the rear crossbar. Once the rear crossbar is installed, we're going to install our new clips. Be sure the clip seats all the way into the clip groove. A good way to check to be sure all the clips are on properly is to pull out on the crossbar. Now we're to the point of reinstalling bolts, nuts, and elastomers. We're going to install our new rebound elastomer kit on quad machine here. This is an elastomer that goes on the outside of our handle arm and takes away any top out feel you might experience when running the bars really soft like you would for a mud application. It's always a good idea to put fresh nylock nuts on. To ensure proper ride height, you can do one of two things. Measure to be sure the elastomer is preloaded the same on each side, or you can count threads. This side has, is preloaded with five threads showing, this side is as well. Lastly, we're going to reinstall the bar pad and get ready to go riding.